adding 3D to your website has gotten a lot more easier. You could see that I have created this page in Elementor and I have implemented a 3D model around here which looks wherever I go. And to do this we are using Spline and you could go to Spline website and you could make anything that you want in 3D and just embed it on your website. Now remember that if you are using free version it will give this pop-up saying built with Spline and you can only remove it once you actually buy the pro version or the premium version. So it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. But if you don't, if you want to use free version, it will show this uh, icon around here. Now all you simply need to do is go on to spline.design and create an account. And here you could see that you can actually find lots of stuff like tutorials around here, how you can make stuff. You could create from library stuff. You could also create like a game. So let's say if I click on this one, which they have already created, and it is not just limited to like 3D models. You could actually create interactable stuff with just like easy drag and drop features. Now you could see that this is the one that I loaded just now. And if I click play, I can actually move it with WASD and stuff. So you can actually create interactable stuff in your website with just 3D stuff like this. So right now I'll just show you the basic one. So this is what I created in Blender. Blender is a 3D software which allows you to create 3D stuff and I created this model in Blender. I will play the render that I created for this one which was made in Blender but then I imported the uh, OBJ which is the 3D model inside of this and if you don't know how to do 3D you can actually just use their own creator so you could see they have their own creator like this where you could actually make stuff to however you want whatever you want. I'm not familiar with it much. So just play around with spline design and you will be able to make your own design inside of this. I do recommend to uh, learn some 3D software if you want to create something like this. You can see this uh, this uh, design which has this like cloth, cloth area type. And another thing is uh, if you go in this one which is bounding box. This is how I have placed it in here. And based on that, it is how it is placed around here. So if I click bounding box, I have set it to responsive and I've set it to auto zoom. Yes. And I'm not going to go in depth with this uh, tutorial, but all, all you need to basically do is once you have set the bounding box, if, uh, once you have moved it to whatever uh, way you want it to be. And then I've chosen this camera. So basically this camera is what I've chosen. So you could add multiple cameras from here uh from here like this actually it's around here my bad add new camera like this and then while you go into this export icon you could just go into your overview and then choose which camera your uh, animation should use i'm using viva lots of tutorial online shows that you should use public url but i have found that to be a bit buggier and there are multiple options to like uh like say video recording and stuff too but i want it to be viva I'll copy this code which is script like this and obviously there are settings like you should if you want any BG color which is I don't want it to be BG it should be transparent. So if I keep this on I would be able to like zoom in and in zoom in and out if I just scroll inside of this and I'll be able to move it with my left click. I don't want that. So what I've basically done is I've chosen my boo like this which is called boo uh, model in this one I've added an event. Which is like when we, uh, it won't, it should look at the cursor like this. And then I'll also add it for the legs and which is for legs. I have just made it a bit slower than the body. So it just looks the legs move, but legs move a bit slower than the whole body. And it looks nicer. I just created this section like this. So all we simply do is click export, click on here. And again, this is not a spline tutorial. So. You will need to learn it differently because it is like a complete different software. And basically what you need to do is I'll delete this one. I'll add an HTML widget inside my container and, I, and, then, and then I'll add it. But you could see that it is not being full right because right now it is trying to like uh, choose whatever size we have chosen around here. So if I go around here, you could see this is the size that is chosen. So what I'll simply do is I'll choose this and I'll make it grow. So that it fits this container. You could see. Right now it is. And if, whenever you want to see like a refresh one. So let's say you did some changes. So let me just try moving this a bit. So let's say if I do stuff like this. Okay. And then. Now I, you can see that I actually disabled my look at animation. So because it was enabled. Like see. If, because it was enabled like this. 
when I moved it, it actually was looking at my mouse. So I just removed it. So I'll just remove my look at animation like this. And instead, I'll go into my export. I'll go into uh, play. I'll give orbit and then zoom, soft orbit. There is also like touch settings around here. And you could also do like on hover. You could make the camera move a bit. So now this would look a bit wackier because there, there's too many settings here. So you need to play around with. But I'll just show you that you could easily do some stuff like this. And here you could see that it, like, it is actually working. Now you could see that when I scroll, it just moves like this. And I can just use my mouse to move it like this. So that's a cool thing that you could do with this plugin, Spline. Or not plugin, sorry, this website. And you could do any number of uh, products that you want for free. But it would just have this icon. And you could see it looks very cool. Uh, you could also do like featured section like this. So for example, if this was light, you would see that this is how it looks. And another thing is... Let's say if I make it go from top to bottom, let's make this like full width and then let's make this full width like this. You could, you see that I have chosen, uh, if I go into my bounding box, I've chosen it to be responsive and because I'm using responsive, it just works a lot better than going here and then choosing like a, like a size that you want. But I've just found it to be like much more better when I'm using responsive and then moving the camera. Uh, it is... I'm also like not much familiar with this plugin, so just test it out, just practice it a bit and there are multiple tutorials on the internet which just show you how this works. And you can also disable this scroll, okay? So when you like move around here, your page shouldn't scroll, so you will have to do the settings in here. So yeah, that's all and just make a 3D model, add it inside of this and just use the embed code and it just works perfectly and very much nicer.